Hello, welcome to my channel, Narcos Guide. Please don't forget to subscribe. Today we have a very, very cool property that I'm just really excited to show you guys. There's actually a lot of properties. This is a private gated community in one of the most popular destinations near the city of Cali. It's called Lake Kalima or Lago Kalima. This particular gated community was very popular for the Cali Cartel Godfathers because every single one of them built a property here. So let's begin with this property that belonged to Elmer Pacho Herrera. As can be seen, it's just a beautiful, gorgeous property that sits right on the lakefront and is just imposing and it just definitely screams narco architecture. I was just so excited to get to finally record all these properties for you guys. Obviously this property was sort of finished but it was never really uh, fully finalized by or enjoyed by Pacho Herrera but it was just an awesome property that sadly has been left to rot and forgotten to time. You can still take it in all the sites it's just an awesome property. Then we have what was called the boathouse. This property right here is actually for rent right now. It's being used by many people but it has a very uh, boat theme uh, property and it's the, actually the only property that it sits basically right on the lake. Uh, so it's very special, very cool regardless of how small it is. And then we have just this one right here. This property used to belong to Chepe Santa Cruz and I personally spent many, many, many weekends visiting this property between 1989 and 1995 in fact i actually learned to uh, ride jet ski and water ski while staying at this property i spent quite a lot of time and it was just an, simply an awesome awesome place to come visit i have a lot of great childhood memories because i was actually a little kid from i guess from 89 i was between 7 and and 13 years old when i came visit this place so it, yeah I had a lot of great memories I really enjoyed this property it was just really cool coming here and, and just spending time with the with the Santa Cruz family and all of their welcomings because they were very uh, welcoming they always had a lot of very cool things to offer they always spoiled their guests and just gave them the best so yeah this was a, a great property where I spent a lot of time and obviously you can see but it's still very majestic and it's very curious that they still have the same jet ski and the same uh, ATVs and the same truck for uh, moving the toys around and the same boat, especially the boat I learned to water ski. So that was very cool to find that despite that it looks like it has private owners, it's never been in government control because it's perfectly maintained. Uh, right here, there was another beautiful house, but sadly, it looks like it's been demolished. I don't remember who it was to who it belonged to, but I know the Rodriguez brothers own some houses in this same uh, condominium. But yeah, guys, this is just a great trip through memory lane. I mean, I spent so much time visiting this property. I've probably been here, what, maybe 50, 60 times in my lifetime. Uh, so yeah, I spent a lot of time at this lakefront property. It was just really cool to come. Uh, I don't know, it brought a lot of personal memories that really changed my life forever. Uh, even though I was never really involved with any of these people, I still got to see them and share some of their opulence, just see just how majestic and grander their life, their, their lifestyle was. It's just, it's just the, the scale and scope of how much cash they had, you just can't really grasp it unless you actually experience it. And I was fortunate enough to experience a lot of this uh, grander than life way of life this was another property that used to belong to one of the cali cartels i think this was one of the rodriguez brothers but now it's under private control private hands and it's actually been remodeled because it actually looked slightly different it looks like it's been refurbished but it's still an awesome beautiful gorgeous big property and right below it there's another property that used to belong to the cali cartel members but yeah i'm just glad to bring you guys this whole condominium i hope you guys really enjoy it as much as i do I just love, 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 love sharing all of this content with you guys. It's just amazing to be able to have this, to share my, my personal experience 
and also all of my research because I do a lot of research I don't just make up all of these properties I do go around try to search uh, usually try to find uh, dossiers or uh, DEA dossiers sometimes I get lucky enough and the properties appear on the Clinton list of narco properties so yeah I, and also I talk to people I know some are come from experience and also I'm just great at identifying uh, narco properties that's just uh, a useless gift that I have well not so useless anymore because I actually get to use it but anyway Thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned for more videos coming up soon. This has been another video brought to you by Narcos Guy. Please don't forget to subscribe.